Welcome to Tea Time with me, Pastor Kate. Brew yourself a cup of tea as we create space to breathe and refresh our souls as we ponder a short thought together. Today's Tea Time is entitled, Rocks in Our Wagon. I would like to share with you a short, impactful story that I hope you will be blessed by. One day, God spoke to a young woman and asked her to carry three stones for him up a hill. The young woman gladly agreed, happy to do anything that the Lord might want her to do. So she put the three stones in her wagon and started the long trip up the hill. The stones were not very heavy and it was a beautiful day out. So she sang as she went, happy to be of service to her Lord. After about half a mile, she passed a friend's house. The friend saw her and asked her what she was doing. So she explained she was carrying stones up the hill for the Lord. The friend told her that he had some stones that also needed to be taken up the hill and asked her if she could take them with her three. She replied that she would be happy to and added them to her wagon. She proceeded up the hill with a somewhat heavier but still quite bearable load, happy to be of service to the Lord and to her friend. After another half mile, she passed another friend's house and stopped there to rest for a while. When the friend found out what she was doing, she mentioned that she too had some rocks that needed to be carried up the hill. The young woman told her to place them in her wagon and she would be happy to take them as well. Now the load was pretty heavy and she was working up quite a sweat, but she still felt good about being of service to the Lord and her friends. After another half mile, she was becoming quite tired and thirsty, so she stopped to rest again and asked for a drink. The person at whose house she had stopped was kind enough to offer her some lemonade. Upon seeing that the wagon was nearly full, she mentioned that she too had some rocks that needed to be carried up the hill. The young woman reluctantly added them to her wagon and proceeded up the hill. She was not far from the top now, but it was becoming very steep and the wagon was very heavy. As she went, she continued to grow more and more angry with the Lord for giving her such a difficult task to do. Finally, in sheer exhaustion, she pulled her wagon over to the side and sat down. She told the Lord this was it. She had enough and she was quitting. The Lord spoke to her again and asked her what was the matter. She explained that the task she had been given was too hard and her burden too heavy. The Lord acted as though he was surprised and then looked into the young woman's wagon. Where did all these other rocks come from? Asked the Lord. I only gave you three stones to carry up the hill. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. We will get burned out, frustrated, and even angry if we let other people put their rocks in our wagon. We need to make sure that we are only carrying the stones that God has given us. Sometimes God will ask us to carry someone else's rock, but he will never overburden us. We should not allow anyone but God to put rocks in our wagon. A mentor of mine always says, is this mine to do? Is this for me, Lord? Are these rocks for my wagon? Matthew 11 verses 28 through 30 say, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let us pray. God, I thank you that your yoke is easy and your burden is light, Lord. Please give us only the rocks you have for us for our wagon. And if there are someone else's rocks that we are to carry, may you make it clear to us, God. And we know, Lord, that you will never overburden us. So may we always ask, are these mine to carry? And Lord, just be with us as we go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take a moment. Enjoy your cup of tea. Take a few deep breaths and listen to the song, My Yoke is Easy, from Dennis Jernigan, linked in the description below. God bless.